Welcome to InfoT. Today we explore the top-down and bottom-up reasoning. When following the top-down reasoning, first we prioritize the occupational needs, secondly we assess them, we then identify strengths and challenges, and finally we use a variety of means to enable occupational performance. For example, your most important goal is to make a salad for your family. We first observe this occupation in its typical environment. We identify her strengths and challenges. She has a great motivation to participate in this occupation since her daughter loves tomato salad, but she has difficulty remembering the steps of this procedure and with stabilizing the tomato with her left hand. We could use the following techniques to help her achieve her goal. Use strategies to remember the steps, teach how to cut, use adaptations and so many others. Pros and cons. Top-down reasoning promotes a holistic and global perspective while it assesses realistic occupational needs. On the other hand, the assessments aren't always objective and cannot be easily incorporated in a medical setting. When the bottom-up approach is used, we assess the underlying body structures and functions, we make assumptions on how this might impact occupations, and we intervene by restoring, developing, or repairing the body functions and structures. For example, this boy seems to have poor attention span, dysfunctional pencil grip, poor eye-hand coordination, and more. We make our assumptions that these deficits could lead to bad handwriting or poor school performance and we intervene by helping him develop longer attention span and repairing the inappropriate pencil grip. Pros and Cons Bottom-up reasoning is widely used in medical settings, is applicable to all clients and it's easier to collect data and track progress. On the other hand, the goal is not occupation focused and we use frames of reference and theories from other professions. We usually choose between these two but there is one more option, top to bottom up approach. Top to bottom up reasoning focuses first on the occupations and then jumps directly to the assessment of the body functions and structures. Then assumptions are made on how these functions may affect occupational performance. This reasoning is not occupation focused. Thank you for watching InfoT. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Tune in for more next week.